I'm so tired now. Eh, I can just film that episode tomorrow. Ugh. Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Comic Gamer. So on today's episode, I will be talking about Rayman, the limbless man who's also a ray. For those of you that do not know, Rayman was a platforming series created by Michael Ansel at uh, Ubisoft in 1995. It, it, it was pretty successful. I mean, he wasn't as popular as Sonic, Pac-Man, or Mario, but he, he was still pretty up there. Like, people could recognize him, and they, they knew who he was. And he was relatively known, okay? So, two sequels later, we were going to the fourth installment, which was going to revolutionize the series with an open-world platformer, just like every single series does nowadays. But this was different. It was in 2006. Nobody's seen this kind of thing before happen. They've never seen Breath of the Wild or Mario Odyssey. It was special. And so this game was going to have Rayman fight the Rabbids. They were going to be the main villains of the game. So, okay, so the Rabbids, they're like these small, weird, rabbit kind of creatures. But instead of this, they thought that it would be a good idea to change this main game. And instead, make a mini game collection. With Rayman... Raving Rabbids. So yeah, the GBA port of Rayman Raving Ga Rabbids actually showed us that what Rayman 4 could have been. With the Rabbids formerly being peaceful, kind creatures, but they couldn't take the abuse they suffered and seek revenge. Wow, that's actually a pretty sad origin. So they continued on with the Rayman Raving Rabbids series after the first installment, and you can actually see between the first and the third game, Rayman's name gets smaller which, with each single game, until it's gone. So someone somehow thought that these annoying <laughs> minions knockoffs were actually going to make them a lot of money. I hate the Rabbids because of how they are basically the reason why we didn't and still don't see Rayman a lot anymore. And speaking of how annoying they are, these guys are like if you got the minions who drank bleach. I don't know how, but in the early 2010s, these small cute characters who can make loads of merchandise off of were plaguing the animation industries. I don't know, know anyone who can stand these guys. It's like modern Spongebob. The only thing funny about them is that they're loud. There, that's the only thing funny about them. They make loud noises. Ha <laughs> ha, funny. No. So anyways, let's get back to the topic at hand. What's happened to Rayman after Ubisoft slaughtered him and gave the Rabbids his job? Well, he was given two games in the last 11 years. It has been almost a decade since Rayman's last game which was Rayman Legends in 2013. Well, the Rabbids have gone 22 games since 2006, which is insane. I still can't believe how Rayman is hardly a household name anymore and has been lost in obscurity. So yeah, the Rabbids, they got an animated series, all right? And they even, got a movie. Wait, I'm not reading my script right. I don't think I am. I am. How? How'd they get a movie? Oh, alright. It's still being worked on. What? It's being worked on? No! I will not let this stand. Who would want to listen to this for a whole movie? <laughs> they even... Did a crossover with Mario? How did Nintendo allow this? And not a Sonic crossover. Any game was 
the, the game actually was, wasn't was bad. It was actually pretty good. And it uh, just so happens it's getting a sequel later this year uh, in October. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Speaking of this year, a new Rabbids came, came out quite recently. And it is called Rabbids Party of Legends. Which was actually released in China. And finally came out in the West quite recently. So, unfortunately, Rabbids is still strong after 16 years, and it does not seem like Rayman will come back anytime soon. So, the best we can do is hope, right? Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you got this far, uh, hope you enjoyed me raving Rayman and not the Rabbids, because the Rayman's obviously the better character. Uh, let's be frankly, guys. Nobody loves the rabbits. That's what I've been trying to prove through this entire video. Everybody hates them. So anyways, see you guys on the next one. Bye!